Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and this is a video request. Uh, I had someone email me uh, about a couple of days ago, and they wanted me to create a video on how to set up and configure your KMS server. Now, KMS is basically your key management server. So let's go. Now, the first thing that you need to do is retrieve your KMS serial number. I'll place this link at the bottom of the description. Uh, but most likely, you guys need to have a volume volume license uh, sign-in account um, that's the only way this will work uh, once you have a volume license uh, account within your corporate environment you can retrieve your KMS uh, license and um, you're good to go now once you retrieve that KMS number you could go inside your server now I'm running Windows Server 2008 R2 and uh, once you do that you will want to go into the activate windows and windows activate you will enter your KMS number and once you enter your KMS number hit enter hit next actually sorry now the whole point of the KMS server is um, rather than having your machines go out of the, your network to activate themselves um, with Microsoft they're actually activating themselves with your KMS server now the way that you know it's a KMS serial number is because you're gonna get this prompt it's basically saying that you enter a KMS key and that you should only be used to, cre to create an activation infrastructure for your organization that's basically what we want we want our machines to activate through our services not Microsoft services okay once you get this dialog box you want to press OK and it takes a while for it to activate but once everything's successful that's about it uh, there's one more thing that you guys need to do and and that's if you're running this on a corporate environment normally behind firewall behind a firewall uh, most likely a lot of people have their local firewall disabled on their servers if you don't have your firewall disabled most likely you have to add um, the key management services into your firewall so I'm going to show you guys how to do that okay so it's activated good now I'm going to show you guys how to add in case you do have a strong firewall and st stuff st starts not working properly so what I'm going to do is uh, do a firewall CPL that's about firewall right CPL and then from here you want to go to a live program or feature through the firewall uh -huh. and then if you look closely there's an option that says key management service you want to tick that off okay now once you tick it off you're good to go you press OK and you're basically allowing this service to run throughout your domain regardless if you have a firewall now if you want to change the port which I don't really recommend to change the port I would just leave it default but there is a way to change the port uh, if you guys want to know how to change the port just let me know and I'll shoot that stuff to you other than that that's about it guys that's how you get your your KMS server up and running um, I'm, this is based this is going to be on three parts. This is part one. Part two is going to be how to do it on command line, how to activate it through command line. And the last part is uh, how to test KMS, which most likely you guys will like to see that. Uh, hopefully you guys stay tuned and enjoy this video and uh, catch you guys later. Peace out.